Hi, my name is Simon Kotter and I'm Director of Product Management for Oracle Infrastructure Software and today I'm going to share with you one of the greatest features we have there on VirtualBox 7 that is the capability to import an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance to VirtualBox. That means get um, an OCI instance cloned and migrated to Oracle VM VirtualBox and clone to a local virtual machine on Oracle VM VirtualBox. So this is our VirtualBox 7 UI and as you can see on the menu we now have an OCI entry with different compartments there. What I'm going to do now is to get this OCI instance named Ubuntu OCI migrated and cloned as a local VirtualBox VM. So first of all we need to get there on the welcome section and click on import. The second step is to select as the source Oracle Cloud Infrastructure to then supply the proper profile that is going to be Frankfurt OLV, so where my OCI instance resides. Now, uh, as you can see, I have there Ubuntu OCI. I can select the same, click on next. Now, here the interface is asking me which kind of configuration is going to get the VM that will be created on, on VirtualBox. So, first of all, just to recognize the same, I'm going to, man, to name it uh, Ubuntu VBox. It's going to be a Linux system and it's going to be a Ubuntu 18.04 64-bit. Related to the resources going to get there on VBox, one CPU is enough. I'm going to give it 4 GB of RAM. Uh, the good point here <clears throat> is that I will always have a description saying that this VM had been created from OCI and this one is the OCID of the same instance that is there on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Immediately after, I only have to click on finish to start the process of importing an OCI instance to Oracle VM VirtualBox. By clicking there, as you can see on the right, you immediately have a window saying that you are importing an appliance from Frankfurt OLV compartment and this one is the OCID of the OCI instance that is going to be imported. As soon as the process started, you can track what is going on on the VBox SVC log file. And here you can easily see uh, that uh, yeah, the name is going to be Ubuntu VBox. The instance ID that is going to be imported is this one. And immediately after that, the provisioning step is going to happen or is going to be executed. Provisioning, what does it mean provisioning? On OCI, VirtualBox is talking uh, with OCI by leveraging the Web Services API exposed by, by OCI itself. And it's going to get uh, your VM cloned on a bucket, right? As soon as the bucket is ready and the VM is cloned there, you will see that another type of process will start. And that one is going to be called exporting. During this phase, what is going to happen? the OCI instance is going to be exported to VirtualBox, right? So the cloned disks of your OCI instance are going to be imported or downloaded by VirtualBox on your local device. As soon as the import process is completed, my virtual machine will appear on the VirtualBox UI and as you can see, we have now here a new VM named Ubuntu VBox, where the operating system is the one that I've selected. I have the proper amount of memory that I've defined during the import process. Um, the configuration is going to be net, right? Uh, and cool, maybe one of the cool points here is that uh, on the description, I have there the OCID of the instance that had been imported into VirtualBox. So just as a reference, right, that this VM, this local VirtualBox VM, have been created by the, an, an import process from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure starting from this instance ID. 
Now, as you know, by default, uh, the authentication uh, there on an OCI instance happens by SSH key, and, uh, and this kind of VM is configured by NAT, right? So how can I then get access to my local VM? Uh, yeah, what I can do is to get there on the settings and the network, leave NAT as the default um, NIC type that is going to be your network type that is going to be leveraged, and configure port forwarding. On the port forwarding, what I can do is to uh, get the port number 22, that is the SSH port for the VM, redirected to another port on my host. And with this kind of port forwarding configuration in place, I will be able to then connect to the VM. So let's now start the Ubuntu VBox VM. And as soon as the boot process is completed, we can connect to the VM. So, as we said, to connect to the VM by SSH, we, we now need to leverage that kind of port forwarding that is in place. And so, I'm going to connect to this VM by pointing to localhost on port 2222. And here, as you can see, I am on the VM. So the VM name is obviously Ubuntu VBox, but the host name for the VM is still the, the original one, so Ubuntu OCI. And now I have the same VM that is there on OCI, cloned and running locally on top of VirtualBox. So, and this is just one of the great capabilities that we have there uh, with VirtualBox and the integration with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, feel free to reach out uh, on my blog, on LinkedIn, Twitter, on any social to possibly get further details related to VirtualBox capabilities. Thank you so much for the time dedicated to this recording.